Hey everybody, this is just a quick tutorial to show you how to record yourself in Zoom and import that video into PowerPoint. There's really just two steps to this, basically recording it in Zoom, finding the video you just recorded in Zoom, and then importing it into PowerPoint. So let's begin. I'm going to begin by down here, I'm on a Windows machine, launching my Zoom app by typing it in the bottom. should have this window pop up. I'm just going to create a new meeting. In this meeting here, I've got my uh, recording going on. I'm going to turn on my video here for a second. You're going to see me from the side, I think. Hey, everybody. And then I'm going to hit record on this computer. Hey, everybody, this is just a welcome video for my PowerPoint presentation. Then I'm going to end and meeting for all. You will see a dialog box that will come up that is converting the meeting. And it should open up the folder that your video file is in. It's that one right there. This is audio. This is some sort of file that just goes with Zoom. The MP4 is right there. Uh, but I'll show you how to find that anyways inside of PowerPoint. So if I go over to PowerPoint, here's my presentation. Second page, I want to insert. So if you're at the home, you go to the insert menu up here and then over to the near the far right video, this device. And where you're going to find it is this. Uh, Zoom creates a folder in your documents folder. Find the Zoom folder and then it organizes all your videos by date. And so you can see here's my recorded Zoom meeting from today. And then you will see from there your MP4 file. That's the one you want. I'm going to click on insert. Give it a moment. And there it is. We should be able to preview it. Hey everybody, this is just a welcome video for my PowerPoint presentation. You can resize that video if you would like to. Maybe stick it so it's kind of a little bit more in the middle. Up here at the top, you can see video format. You've got lots of options now. I could put uh, uh, some sort of poster kind of frame around it if I wanted to. Do something like that. And the last thing that I would like to show you is up here at the top under the playback menu with this video selected. It has to be selected. You can make a few other controls and changes to the video. Uh, one I might point out is the trim video option. You can click on there and then say if you kind of trailed off or you saw I kind of looked off camera at the very end, maybe I want to trim that part off. I can, I can scoot that back a little bit over here like this and say you started with something that you didn't want to have in there like I did. I want to start with me looking right at the camera. I can trim like that. And then I can click on OK. And you'll see now that the video is set up in that way. Um, so it trims off the beginning and end. Uh, the other thing that you can do from here is that you can change the volume. Uh, you can also change it so if you are doing a presentation that the video plays automatically versus when clicked on. Um, if you're doing an uh, automatic slideshow, then you could have the video loop until you stopped if, you, if it was some reason why you'd want to do that. Well, I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions at all, please post them below. And I hope that you successfully get your videos in to your PowerPoint presentations.